Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so, please go down and like and subscribe and ring that bell so you'll see all the videos that we put out. All right, today we're gonna start working on something that has been a long time coming for around here. Um, if you follow the channel a lot, you know that we do a lot of pigs, we sell a lot of pork, we do chicken, we do eggs. Every now and again, you see some cows in the background. Well, truth of the matter is, is that we've had cows long before we had pigs. Um, we had cows before we were doing meat birds, all for ourselves. Look at this guy right here. He's just having a blast, ain't he? <laughs> um, anyway, we, we, we've had cows for a long time and doing grass fed from a herd of calves took a long time. We've processed a couple for ourselves and our family over the past year and a half, two years. We're ready. We're ready to start selling beef and we are about to go build a corral over the next two days and uh, start getting ready to have a place to work cows and to load cows out. So that's what we're about to work on. Y'all come on with us and we'll show you how we're gonna do it. All right, so we have 17 panels to work with. The way I laid this thing out, I think I'm only gonna use 16 of them and several gates. Um, this round pin uh, is where my wife gives some of her horseback riding lessons. And we have decided to buy a new set of panels for that. So these are gonna become part of a permanent working corral. So we're gonna break this down real quick, get it loaded on the forks of the tractor and get it hauled down where it's gotta go. First load is ready to go. I made Jamie get all those by herself. Isn't that right? Yep, I do everything by myself. <laughs> what, what all do you do by yourself? Everything. <laughs> There's the start. And uh, try my best not to get y'all drunk here. There is our stack of panels. We got to go get some more poles right there, like that, so that we can uh, do uh, the corners, sink those posts in the ground tomorrow. But uh, after we get the poles over here, that's going to be it for today. We start assembly tomorrow. <laughs> at it again this morning um i lost my hats on the other side of the fence anyhow so we got all grown and we augered a couple of holes we got some poles in the ground and we're going to slide the chute gate between those to secure it that's probably going to be the place where cows would freak out and do the most damage so we're trying to secure it the best we can so that's what we're working on now as soon as we get slid in there these other two poles put in i'll show you what i'm talking about all right so we got a little carried away we got the whole thing built besides securing all the posts and then securing it to the wood and we still got one gate to buy but i'm gonna show you how it works with some help can't wait all right, folks here's the demo so the gate opens up so mom's gonna go mom's gonna go kenny's gonna go stop mom dad's gate opens up there all right so now when they come this way they can't go through this way and they can't get past right there. So this opens to that. And then these two open to each other. So cows go in and I'm the cow. So dad's gonna close the gate behind me. 
Yeah. So dad closes that back up to there. All right. So now I'm a moo, 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 moo cow. This is the gate that we're missing right now. So there will be another gate right here. Then this panel and that panel will close up and form a corner right there and close this area in, okay? So this gate that you see here will hinge on that pole. And as it hinges on that pole, it is long enough to be from here to here which will allow us to use it as a sweep gate. So we'll have it open this way towards us, and then that gate will swing. So when we let the cows in behind me, we're only gonna let them in here one or two at a time. We'll have this gate open this way. We'll work a cow, and then once we get them past the edge of that gate, we'll take that gate and we'll swing it, swing it, swing it this way. And as it keeps on swinging, it will close flush right here. And then the cows have only one spot to go. Down through the chute, all the way down. This is a, a uh, farm special homemade head catch that a very ingenuity farmer a long time ago built and we don't know who that is but um, dad was able to buy this thing for a hundred bucks and it's been sitting around for a while with intentions of us doing this but you see how it does so cow would go in there and as they get about right here they start closing so this this is made to where if the cow's shoulder hits here all it can do is close and then let's close it kenny all right so don't don't let it open see it's got this there you go Got this fancy mechanism right there. Pick up on that little thing, Kenny. Oh yeah, there you go. So that's how it opens and closes. Pretty crafty. But anyway, that's it. We still got a lot of uh, we got a lot of bracing and things to do with it. We have posts at all four corners of that, and uh, it's gonna be pretty sturdy. This is only so wide, so the cows can't turn around in here. Uh, we left this section a little wider at the back end of it so that it would funnel them down. So you're wider from there to there, and then it's straight down through. So uh, it's like 900 degrees out here, so we're probably going to call this for right now, but we got a lot done today. So that's it for this one, guys. This is, uh, we have cows going, uh two or three weeks from now we wanted to get this put together see what pieces and parts we're still going to need to make this thing good and secure this is going to be a permanent something here so it's just going to be here um but anyhow we appreciate you guys watching if you haven't done so please go down and like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video